Hey, go girls. Okay, so um, it comes to our attention that we're a little bit confused about reporting accidents at camp. So Christy and I are doing a, an impromptu dramatization, um, and this is kind of silly, but um, we're doing it in a silly way, but it's actually very serious. Uh, so we wanna make sure that you get it. So here we go. So I'm gonna change the camera. Can I change the camera around right now? Mm -hmm. How? I guess not. Okay. Okay. So, basic incidents. You're chopping me. Oh, right there. Okay. <laughs> um, if you need to provide a band aid, an ice pack, uh, like an emotional ice pack, if somebody is just not feeling well and just ice pack will make them feel better. Um, having a participant lay down if their stomach hurts. Um, specific tasks per child, uh, um, like if they have a bathroom accident or uh, need to go to the bathroom a lot notice they need to drink a lot just little things like that that you think the parents should need to know those are basic or if they're like not consistently not eating their lunch or something mm -hmm. like that and they're like always hungry or something and then you that goes by the camp nurse and it's filled in in the log here so let's act it out okay so okay. <clears throat> i'm the go girl and chrissy is the um staff member okay um Chris <laughs> <laughs> chrissy um my finger hurts, and I think I need an ice pack. Okay. Um, did this happen today? Well, it happened yesterday, but it still hurts. Okay. So, do you want a Band-Aid or an ice pack? Both. Okay. Band-Aid, ice pack. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, I kind of have a, I kind of have a stomach ache. So, do you think that you just need to lay down for a little while yeah. or go to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. And then watch Chrissy. Dun, dun, dun. Then fill it in. Lynn Johnson. Need a band-aid, ice pack. She laid down. Now she feels better. Three o'clock. Okay, now scenario number two is reportable incidents. This is where it gets very serious. So three B's at our school, we said three B's and a wheeze. Uh, blood, barf, bodily fluid and uh, if they have, are having trouble breathing, like asthma. So um, the main thing is, fell or ran into something, require an ice pack. If they hit their head or any other body parts, if they fell or ran into something and report it to you, call home. These are, you should call home. If, if they hit their head or they reported that like their arm hurts, their leg hurts, their knee like really, really hurts beyond like a, beyond like right. a, my finger. <laughs> right, okay. Right, and if, um, err on the side of being more cautious. So if you can't tell if the kid really needs to have a phone call home, just call home anyway. Um, obviously, significantly cutting yourself, that would be blood, vomiting, all that kind of stuff, you would. Uh, call home in the, like, right when it happens, and then let the parent make the decision on what you should do, whether they should come get them or have them lay down. Um, and also, Nobody's a real nurse here, so let's not say what we think it is at all. Even if the parent says, do you think it's broken? Say, I don't know, I, I'm not able to make that decision. Do you wanna come look at them? Do you wanna come get them? Uh, but don't, don't answer any, just don't be a nurse because we're not one. Um, but those are reportable. And then so what happens with that is, if I am assistant teacher and I see it all happen or the girl tells me it happens, then I go and report it to the camp mama who fills out the paperwork and calls the parent writes down what the parent says, and then uh, scans it and gives it to me. And then I will follow up at the end with the parent at night. If it's something like um, had a, an emotional, had a conflict with another girl or physical alter altercation, that wouldn't be something you would call in the middle of the day. Um, but you definitely need to connect with at pickup with the guardian or the parent. If it's another parent taking them home, then you'll need to call. Or if it's a nanny, um, I still think you could talk to the nanny, if it's somebody to, but you, you gotta connect with those parents at the end of the day um, and to let them know. But it is still something you write down on the incident report, and that's the camp mama also. So should that be the, a GGLT or assistant teacher who does the incident report? No, the only person writing on the incident report is camp mama. Now I know you didn't see it, but so if I'm a GGLT, I'll go up to the camp mama, and as the GGLT is speaking, Cam Mama is writing things down. Okay, let's act it up. So I 
and that same girl, how are we gonna do this? Okay, and I was running and I um, was, let's take an example from you RDS last time. Oh. I was trying to swing from a tree <laughs> and I fell, oh, and hit my head on a, on a stump of a tree. Of a redwood. And I go, oh, Christy, I hurt my head, I fell, I hurt my head. Okay, let's have a seat. Oh. Have a seat here so she sits down. Oh. And we'll get you an ice pack right away. Oh. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then you call home. So do I wait to call home? No, I would call okay. home right uh, So then, so then Chrissy, well, so watch Chrissy. So then, <laughs> so then she, she comforts her, or finds someone to comfort her. Yes. And then right away goes to call parents. So go. So you get the phone, you, you, you have, everything's in your book. I find the phone number on the back. Um, and what happened at RDS is we called every single number on the emergency form, no answer. We left messages on every number we possibly could. Julie did, then I did later. Um, and then I emailed, I did, we did it all. Um, and so then what happened was Maria actually called someone she knew that was uh, an EMT that was able to help her go through a um, concussion checklist to see if we needed to call uh, 911. So they ended up not calling 911 and, but they wrote it all. Every time you call an email, if you don't know, if you don't know an EMT, call Chrissy. <laughs> um, <laughs> And if uh, you document everything, every single the time and who you contact and in what form, text, phone call, email, just document all the times on the incident report. And, uh, and then yeah, okay, definitely okay. connect with somebody at camp. Or with, I'm sorry, somebody at pickup. So. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so girl gets hurt beyond normal. Comfort her, call parents. Camp mama fills out an incident report. Camp mama calls parents. Camp mama calls parents, adds, adds what the parents say to the incident report. Yes. The incident report goes to Chrissy, who can then follow up with the parent later on that evening. Correct. So things that are not called in the middle of the day would be basic needs, and then maybe an altercation, the emotional part of, um, the procedure list. That part can be dealt with at the end. The social emotional incidents, I think, don't need to be called necessarily during the day, but need to be connected with. Um, and the only reason you would call them during the day is if you notice that they're picked up by a different, by not a guardian. And don't worry about bothering parents. No. Like parents want to know what's going on with their girls. If you think it might be too little, but you're not sure, err on the side of calling the parents. Please. Got it. And read the procedure in your binder. Yes, it's right here. Dun, da, da. Dun, da, da. Two pages. Thank you. Bye, go girls. Love you.